Well, hello, my honors. I would show you Trixie, but boy, is she feeling bad about Michigan losing. Won't even come out of her bed. Come here, Trixie. No, Trixie doesn't want to. But I thought I would start with a little review of our inequalities. Um, very important to know how to graph a line, inequality. Remember, inequality means there's going to be shading involved. So you graph the boundary, treat it like an equals. Now when it's solved for y, I do slope intercept. So negative three is our y intercept. Slope is two, so it'd be up two, right one, up two, right one. Now there's no equals, so the boundary is dashed. Then you pick a point not on the line, that's where it's equals and put it in to see if it's true or if it's false. So I'm going to put 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 2 times 0 minus 3? Is 0 greater than negative 3? We would say yes. So this is true. So everything on this side of the line is true. This one. 3 is our slope. Change that, change that. 3 is our y-intercept. Negative 1 half is our slope. So down 1, right 2. Down 1, right 2. There is an equal, so it's a solid line. Whoops. 0, is that less than or equal to 0 plus 3? Is 0 less than equal to 3? Yes. So we shade this side. Now, if it's in standard form, I like to graph it by finding the intercepts. So the x-intercept, cover up your y, is 4. Your y-intercept would be 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Now there's no equals, so it's dashed. Pick 0, 0. Is 0 less than or equal? Start over. Is 0 less than 4? Yep. So we shade the side of the line that has 0, 0. So this one, the x-intercept is 3. The y-intercept is negative 2. It, there is an equals in the problem, so it's solid line. Pick 0, 0. Is 0 minus 0 greater than or equal to 6? Is 0 greater than or equal to 6? No, this is false, so everything on this side is false, so everything on this side is true. Hopefully that helped, and you can feel sorry for Trixie, how sad she is.